I am so excited to be talking about holidays, travel and trips away. Whether you are planning a weekend break, camping, a staycation, or you are actually flying abroad somewhere, it's so nice to have that stuff more available to us. Now things are going back to some kind of normal. Anyway, what I'm talking about in this video today will apply to any kind of trip actually, because for many of us, there is simply this link between going away to relax and have fun and drinking alcohol. Perhaps you can't imagine not drinking during your trip. Maybe you think it won't be the same or you're going to miss out or not have as good a time. When we are worrying, what we often do is put on our rose-tinted glasses and fixate on just one memory from the past when we had a really good time whilst drinking. And then we lose sight of the bigger picture and start projecting a lot of qualities onto alcohol that it doesn't really have. So let's talk about how to break you out of that unhelpful thought loop. Here are three questions to ask before your next trip away. First of all, what didn't you like about drinking during your last trip? I suggest writing this out so you can see it all in black and white. Get really specific here and write down as much as you can think of. This is particularly important to do if you are going back to somewhere you've been before and you associate that place with drinking. Or maybe you are going away with your partner for a few days and you have always drunk on those mini breaks in the past. Your brain wants to keep you in your comfort zone, doing what's familiar to you, so it's going to want to fixate on all the good things that happened last time. But hey, you wouldn't be watching this video if it was all sunshine and daisies, would you? So do yourself a favour and get clear on what you didn't like about drinking during your last trip away. And this could be stuff like, you know what, I hate waking up with a hangover when it's really hot outside. Or I don't like being irritable with my kids when they're really excited and want to get up early and do all the things and I don't want to play with them. Perhaps you missed out on some activities last time because you were hungover and you just couldn't be bothered. Or maybe you know you, you weren't fully present. Perhaps your last romantic getaway is actually a bit of a blur and you can't really remember what was supposed to be valuable quality time together. Maybe it was dominated by thoughts of what you were going to drink, did you have enough and my god is that waiter coming back to refill my glass or what? Write that kind of stuff down because that's really important. My next question is who will benefit from you being alcohol free during this trip? So I know for a fact that you're gonna benefit because if you don't drink, you actually stand a chance of coming home feeling rested and like you've had a proper holiday. Have a think about how well sobriety is really going to influence the things that you do and the way that you feel. However, there may well be other people in your life who are also gonna benefit from you not drinking. Perhaps you know that you do show up for your kids better when you're alcohol free. You're more present with them, more patient, maybe more fun. The same goes for your partner. How does your drinking really affect your relationship? And who else in your life might benefit from you being clear-headed and hangover-free during this trip? My third and final question is, are you willing to take a chance and experiment with something different? So here's the thing. If you're watching this video and you've just answered my first two questions, then you already know what happens when you do drink. You already know what happens when you add alcohol to your family holiday or your camping trip or your romantic weekend away. You've literally already had that experience. 
And if it was really great and totally worth it, then that's fine. You have your answer. So there's no need to do anything different or, or make any changes. You can stay as you are. However, if you didn't love the results you got with alcohol last time, then why not give yourself the opportunity to have a different experience this time and get some different results? After all, this isn't going to be your last ever trip away. There will be others. So you can afford to experiment here. You can always go back to drinking next time. But this time, if you take the risk of doing something different, you might just discover something amazing. You might come home thinking, wow, I actually enjoyed our holiday more when I didn't have to worry about when I could start drinking, or I feel way more connected to my partner when I don't drink, and actually feeling connected is what I want the most. Or, you know, perhaps you notice that you're less anxious when you're sober, and when you're less anxious, it's easier to switch off and relax. There's the potential for so many breakthroughs, so many opportunities to teach yourself that you are capable of more than you think. You might just discover that alcohol-free holidays are a pretty amazing upgrade. So you deserve to have that experience and find that out for yourself. All right, so if you're thinking about drinking on your next trip, just answer my three questions first. What didn't you like about drinking during your last trip? Who will benefit from you being alcohol-free during this trip? And are you willing to take a chance and experiment with something different? Give yourself the gift of 10 minutes to think about this stuff. Journal about it if you want to. Just answer those questions before you go. That way, Whatever you decide to do next, you are moving forward from a place of awareness and intention. So I'm Kate B. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. And I hope you have a great trip away, whatever you decide to do, and a brilliant hangover free week ahead.